in her mind, she probably was just wondering, like, what did I do? Like, what did, what are you doing this to me for? Like, I love you. Like, why are you hurting me? Okay, so you see the mother in pain and suffering. She's grieving, but this is a reason for her problems is this dude, 25-year-old DeAndre Flanagan of Harrison County, Texas, who has this issue, this dispute with this woman, goes up to the daycare where the two-year-old daughter is, pulls this kid out of daycare, goes up to the uh, mother's work, threatening her to come out, let him see her phone. She comes out, takes the phone, punches this woman multiple times as she tries to get her baby. He flees. And this is the SWAT team showing up to the scene of this car chase he leads him on in this Camaro. Uh, uh, and refusing to get out the car, they see a kid in there unresponsive. They react to going into this vehicle. But this is some sucker shit. You run up to this woman's job, and also they have to airlift this baby to try to do everything to save this child. He did this to his own damn two-year-old daughter over being a purified fucking sucker. You run up to her job to want to look in her cell phone to find if she's cheating on you or whatnot. You know, it's a lot of that. And I think that's the other side of things. Where people play upon each other's hardened emotions. Some people can't handle breakups and shit. Weak-minded ass people. But hopefully the court system in Texas does what it do. And that's go hard on motherfuckers. And they rid the planet of this sucker ass dude. You sucker. People have to learn the game. Sometimes things ain't going to work out in relationships. You leave room to be able to handle that and move on. But you don't bring pain to no damn child. Some of y'all are suckers out there. You may go through it. You better learn how to deal with it and move on. Because there's always adjustments you make to your life. And continue on. You don't bring death. So what you going to do in that jail cell? Dummy. And, and you know this case even reminds me of that one from last year. I think it was August of 2022 was another sucker who had some issues with his kid's mother. They got three kids together. And I think the dude was like Little John Francois or something. This is cat name. Y'all pull up the case and all that. Where he having some issues with the woman, one to move on, leave him or whatnot. He takes his three kids, puts them in a car, goes on like Facebook lies, makes the threats to the kid. They have family contacts the police. They're looking for him. Can't find him. Next day, someone jogging finds blood under his car, sees him in a car, contacts police. They find the three kids that this dude had just annihilated in that vehicle over some sucker shit. Because a woman don't want to be with him no more. Man, weak, sucker-ass people are the issues on this planet. People love to make up other issues of what's wrong within the the family dynamics and our community. It's sucker shit from both men and women. People act like suckers and crybabies. But uh, that's all I got. Catch you guys. Peace.